So first, we're going to look at um, one more exponential rules involving division. So as you can see here, the first example is x third divided by x squared. So previously, we already talked about how to multiply them. If, we, if it's multiplication, we are going to keep x and add 3 and a 2 to get x to the fifth because it's multiplying three copies of x and two copies of x. So three copies plus two copies, we get five copies. But division will be different. And so when we do division, again, at this moment, we don't know the formula yet. So we're going to try to um, work it out by definition to see if we can figure out a formula or a rule. So notice that at the top, x third means x three multiplying three copies of x. And the bottom, uh, multiplying two copies of x. So if we ex expand the top and the bottom, we, that's what we get. Now we're going to use what we um, learned previously. When we divide variables, just like we divide numbers. Now x divided by x equals 1, no matter what x is. Because if x is 5, we have 5 divided by 5, that is 1. That works. If x is 4, 4 divided by 4, that still gives us 1. If x is 101 divided by 101, and that still gives us 1. So no matter what x is, x could be any number. But as long as um, they're the same number, because x represents the same number, and after we divide them, we always get 1, because x goes into x one time. OK, uh, or you can kind of say they're canceled out. But after they cancel out, we get 1, because we're doing division. Now, when we do subtraction, when they are canceled out, we get zero because if you have, uh, like, say, $5, you spend $5, you end up with $0. But $5 divided by five people, you get $1 each person. So although both of the cases we say they cancel out, but for subtraction, we end up with zero. But for division, we end up with one. OK, so here we're doing division. Notice the top has x and bottom x. They can be canceled out and cancel out. So now you can see, because the bottom only has two x's. That's why we only can cancel at most the two from the top. And now we are left with just this single letter x right here. This is the only thing left. The bottom is gone. Well, actually, the bottom will be left with a 1, but anything divided by 1 is going to be itself. So that's why the bottom, you can just get rid of it. So the answer will be x. And from this process of canceling, um, well, with the second example, as you can see, so this one, the answer is x. The second one, you can do the same thing. The top has three copies, bottom has three copies. But after we cancel everything out, again, the answer is not 0. It's going to be 1 because every uh, x divided by x, you get 1. Anything divided by itself, you get 1, you get 1, and you get 1. And 1 times 1 times 1 will still give you 1. But from the process that you can see here, um, we can figure out a pattern. And notice that when we cancel them, the top had three copies. But we cross out two of them. So we are left with one copy. And of course, the bottom is gone. So we've, that we focus on whether the top or bottom with more number of copies. Because the one with the less number of copies will be all canceled out. So nothing will be left. Um, technically, we should say there's one left, but because we're doing division, anything divided by one would be the self. But the, the, uh, the top has more copies, so we crossed out two copies. It's like three copies minus two copies. We're left with uh, one copy. So notice the exponent one is omitted, but this actually comes from the subtraction. So the formula says... How do we get the answer without, if we want to get the answer, figure out the pattern, it's the top exponent 3 minus the bottom. So 3 minus 2, that gives us 1. So now if you understand the process and, um, and you don't have to do all of, all of these anymore, you, when you get a division question, you can simply do keep the base 3 and the top exponent minus the bottom exponent to get 1. So you don't have to expand them anymore. So uh, on the right hand side, if we apply the formula, we will get 3 minus 3, which gives us 0. Well, this is something we need to pay attention. When we get x to 0, it's also equal to 1, because this means we have 0 copy 
of x, which means we don't have x anymore. Um, what we have is going to be 1 when we because um, when we do division, um, we cancel anything. When we cancel anything from the top and the bottom, we always end up with a 1. Okay, so you can think of this as either as a definition or by looking at solving this problem uh, in two different ways, whether applying the formula or canceling out, we should get the same answer. So applying the formula, we got, uh, got the x to the zeros, 3 minus 3. But when we do it, solve it by canceling out x's, we got 1. And they should be equal to each other because it's one problem with one answer just by different two different ways. So zero copies of something means the answer is one. So from those two examples, uh, we figure out a new formula. When we divide xm to the x to the xn, same base, uh, we have two exponents. We are going to take the top exponents m minus the bottom exponents n and that will give us the answer directly without um, expand and cancel out um, okay so let's take a look at um, this example and here we are mixing numbers and the variables so we have to separate them to divide the numbers by numbers and variables by variables so we're going to get two division questions negative 24 divided by 6 and x6 divided by x4 and negative 24 divided by 6, we get positive, I get negative 4, because negative divided by positive is negative. 24 divided by 6 is 4. When we divide these two exponents, uh, we can apply this formula here. So without actually expanding and canceling out. So you have 6 minus 4. So when we do division, remember the formula tells us to subtract exponents. Subtract exponents. So we're going to do 6 minus 4. That gives us x squared. Keep the base x. I mean, if you forget, forget the formula, you can always expand. The top has 6 copies, uh, and the bottom has 4 copies. And, but uh, and you can cancel out one from top, one from bottom. So you can see you're left with 2 copies, which is x squared. But this is definitely tedious. So you don't want to do that. You want to, um, if, if you understand this, canceling out four copies from six copies so it's six minus four so that will give you the, give you the answer uh, immediately and so again uh, we are going to sub we, we just have to subtract the exponents and four uh, the top exponent six minus the bottom exponent four and to get x squared so again that will save us time doing and uh, multiplying writing down six copies on the top and the four copies on the bottom and then cross out four of them from top and the bottom to get the same answer x squared so again uh, if we can memorize the formula we don't have to do this anymore and again the formula is if you understand the, the process we're crossing crossing out four copies from six copies so we do six minus four to get two okay so let's look at a another example here uh, these two examples we have more variables but we're still going to have to separate them into um, four division problems so we divide a number by number and base x is by x's because um, base y's and y's okay so first of all negative six negative divided negative is positive we uh, 60 divided by five is, gives us 12 now when we do the division apply the formula we are going to subtract the exponents so 5 minus 4 gives us x to the first the first one can be omitted now the second one we're subtracting 4 minus 2 that gives us uh, squared and what happened to z third and z third if we apply the formula, we're going to get z3 minus 3, that gives us z to 0. But remember, anything raised to 0 except 0 will give us 1, because we have 0 copy of something that gives us uh, no z's. And, and because we're doing division, that gives us 1, anything divided by itself. 
But if you look at again z third and z third, that is rep they both are z third. They match. They represent the same number. So when we divide them, they cancel out. Give and again division gives us one because z third anything goes in it into itself one time. Just like five divided by five, we get one. Okay. So if we get one, anything times one will be the self. So that one is gone. So probably the quickest way, if you have top and the bottom, they match. The quickest way is not applying the formula. Because if you apply the formula, you get z to zero. You still have to turn that into one and then multiply everything else with one. The quickest way will just be canceling out. Because anything divided by itself, you can cancel them out. OK, so uh, let's look at the next one. We're going to be doing the same thing. So we do divide and divide and divide. And again, uh, you're going to get four division questions. And that gives us negative 4. 6 minus 3 is x third. 4 minus 3 is y to the first. And the first can be omitted. And z squared cancels z squared. 